Yeah, welcome everyone to uh, my Twitch channel as well, <laughs> Woody Lizards. Uh, up and running now for uh, Shakedown's GT4 Round 1 Championship. Here it's uh, a wet brand hatch, I believe, uh, a logical is going to get. Oh, wet is it? Oh, no, that's going to be exciting. For the race. So, uh, those guys that are sort of uh, maybe replaying and watching the replay. Uh, Logical Sports is actually streaming for the P51 Sim Sports uh, crew. Uh, so, I think that he'll have mainly a lot of footage on his Logical Sports uh, Twitch channel uh, of the GT4, I mean, of the P51 Sim Sport cars. That's it. So if you want to watch the replay of that, head over to Illogical Sports on Twitch. And those you guys... Can, uh, see how those guys went. And those guys on my channel, what are you streaming on ANZ CRL? So search for him if you want to check out those as well. Uh, it's actually my own personal one. I've done that on uh, Woody Lizard. Okay. Twitch, yeah, I haven't done it with ANZ CRL. So just Woody Lizard? Woody Lizard, that's it. Okay, so I think it's just Xbox Twitch does that. Getting the um, robotics. I might try turning it down a bit, see if that does it. Maybe if we don't talk too loud, might be better. I've turned you down a bit. I, I don't think that's it. I just think the Xbox Twitch can't handle the party chat. Okay. Because I'm probably the same on your end. But that's all right. Yeah, so we got Marcus on uh, on pole. The weary knight. He's obviously the reigning champion of uh, the GT4 championship. Is it Canada number one? That's it. You know, you know. Is it the Ast is it the Bentley? Is he? No, the Aston Martin again. Aston Martin. Okay, with the uh, P51 Sim Sports, I believe. That's it. Then Casey191 uh, with the Team Apex Eaters in the BMW with Apex Filth and also Slide Science. Oh, yeah. Doing good in qualifying, top eight. So they're all in the top ten. Yeah, Casey's quick, eh? Yeah, he's, uh, he loves this game. He, uh, he's really come to uh, grips with this game very well. I wonder if I can bring up these other teams and just see who's in, in what team. So we've got uh, a couple of Camaros too there for the uh, Shakedown team as well. The 97 of uh, Smooth Tommy. And then uh, the car number 22 of Hag. And uh, he's, he's normally pretty consistent, so maybe finding that uh, the Chev Camaro a little bit of a handful. And then also we have the uh, triple six, but I think it's 667 today, uh, Happy Harry. Oh, yep. In the, uh, the third of the shakedown cars. Flying the flag for the league. This is always a little nervy time, of logical, isn't it? The uh, oh, two minutes thirty, <laughs> uh, getting the, uh, making sure that oh, have we got the tyres right? It's not even wet; it's dry. So that's thrown a bit of a uh, crazy thing. We've got the first thirty minutes, by the look of things, are uh, all cloudy skies with no rain. Well, yeah, and then not only that. Predicted. Um, do these guys have to wait until thirty seconds to go or something? Before yeah, I, I think can it's ready something up. like that. Yeah, so they can actually be in the pits. I mean, not in the pits, but in the setup screen, load and everything that they need to load up. Um, there is a mandatory stop. There's a pit stop window. And uh, so they got a pit. I'm not too sure what the window is, actually. It wasn't published in their event. But the uh, it's for tyres only. They don't have to do fuel. Yeah, that's it. So I guess the guys will be hoping to maybe extend that uh, pit window to after the 30 minute mark. As you can see up the top right of my screen, uh, Vordy Lizard screen, we've got the uh, the forecast. And it just looks like really overcast heavy cloud. 
the track's green, so that's going to be slippery for the guy. Starting off green, jeez. Yeah. Um, could cause a that. few dramas. Yeah, I thought it would have rubbed up after qualifying. I wonder if that's a... Uh... Yeah, no, it's weird. So one hour timed race, though, so uh, I'm sure it'll grip up during it. But, uh, yeah, that first few laps when the tyres are trying to get up to temp, the logical, it's going to be quite hairy. So, uh, obviously, you've got the cameras on the P51 Sim Sports car. So we've got P2 of Weary Night. Yep. Um, and then who's next? The Commander Cirrus in P9, which is not too bad on his return. Um, and then who else was there? Matty Seeking? Yeah, Matty Seeking, yep. I think he's down the back somewhere. I think it might be yeah, strategic. Yeah, like 15th in the uh, lone Alpine. So an Alpine GT4 car. We uh, haven't seen much of. There at second. the back. Number 510. So I might uh, put our cameras on ever fast Casey for the start. Yeah, here we are on the watch in filth as well. Alright, we're firing up. Get ready to go. Yeah, we'll see how they all go, eh? So welcome to the uh, GT4 Championship for Shakedown Xbox Sim Racing. And uh, we're here at this Brands Hatch circuit, which is always a season opener, I believe, for Shakedown. Yep. Alright, okay, we wish all the drivers uh, the best of luck. Cars are ghosted through this little formation lap, so they got to hold within their own little uh, green box that they have on a heads-up display. So you may see some cars ghosting through one another, but uh, that's uh, just how it's set up. Anticipation running high. Green light, green light, go, go, go. That's great. We're going, going, going. Mark's got a great start. Yeah, Marcus has had a good one. We're just having, uh, looks like Weary's just taking it easy, but it's Casey up the inside, up into turn two, up to the handpin. Uh, paying, playing caution to the wind, everyone. And uh, Weary's been stuck on the outside, but slotted back into third. And uh, blocking that big Mercedes of King Tetris in fourth position. That's it, someone's off back behind him there. I don't have the, oh, here we go. Yeah, it looks fairly uh, clean. Matty's still taking up the rear there, doing a good job. That might have Howie went off before. In the uh, oh, yellow and grey Audi. Yep. Oh, yeah, so he's uh, in P5 though at the moment, I think. Yep. I kept the it um, thicker thing going. Oh, King Tetris is still on the back of uh, Weary Knight hounding him up here. This is a dangerous, he doesn't want to be poking the nosy early up here. Oh, oh and, Weary Knight. Uh, like Weary up on the uh, grass, being forced out by that aggressive move by um, King Tetris, I think it was. That's all right, P51 boys just said, look, let's group up. So we just dropped back a few places. <laughs> so we've just got race control saying pit lane is open now, so it must open for the uh, duration of the race, I'd say. Yeah, five, five after start, five before finish. Okay. Got a nice little uh, train happening behind him. While Marx is still out in front with Casey just under a second behind. Yep. All the boys are behaving themselves by the looks of things. So, uh, Weary Knight has uh, got one of his uh, nemesis of slide signs just uh, hovering in the background. Blue BMW, the team Apex Eats. Comes in nice and hot on the brakes. The slide sides, but been able to hold on to it. That Aston Martin looks very nice in the colours there for Weary Knight. 
the uh, Donny the number one for last year's champion. Oh, a big cut there by Whopper. Yeah, it's with Tommy. They're all cut back now. I think they must know something, eh? Could do. Looks like Matty's happily proven at the back there. Yeah, he's um, following Happy Harry and Blue Falcon, so he's keeping in touch with those guys. And uh, that Blue Falcon is having a little battle of his own just in front of the uh, one of the uh, Shakedown Camaros of Hag. Hag's a very uh, respectable driver as well. He uh, respects everyone around him. He seems to drive within his limits too. That's it. It's really a game that you need to... Uh, uh, drive within limits isn't it really logical? Uh, oh, it yeah. does yeah. hurt you if you push a bit too hard and be a bit aggressive. And saying that, Leary Apex slide and Locker all just ran wide. Yeah, big moment for those guys. This is a good little battle though here for 11th, 12th, and 13th between Benji Hag and Blue Falcon. Benji just ran wide, so he's given up those positions, and uh, I think Blue Falcons had a spin up the uh, top corner, bottom corner, I should say. Here he comes onto the back straight, so he's got going again, in, uh, but in last. All the rest of the field got through cleanly, so it's good to see. Oh, who was that with big cut? Slide science. They must know something on that corner. What is that? It's turn yeah, seven. Taking his yeah. yeah. He's not the only one. I've seen a lot of them doing it. So there must be something there. Or it's not penalising. Yeah, Limits are a bit generous. Um, yep. That's it. So, uh, but we've got obviously uh, up front. Good battle between Marcus and um, Casey at the moment. The bit is now open. Ah, uh, so the pit window's open. Yeah, Casey's hanging on to him, not letting him get away, that's for sure. No, uh, Casey's doing a good job in the uh, BMW. Team Apex Leaders. He's got, he's got a few different colours in their cars. Mm. Like he's got base uh, purple, whereas it's switched around for slide signs. Where he's got more blue at the front, the light blue. Still going on. Yeah, we can just see we're actually monitoring at the moment just the battle for the league because it's uh, very exciting here. But uh, obviously, in a few shots, we can see the big battle for a third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, and it keeps going on. So there's a big battle. There's probably a group of about eight cars there. Yeah, Ty's definitely well over King Tetris in. Fighting for third. Looks like Weary's trying to catch up the tie there. Oh, someone's off. Is that Whopper, I think? Yeah, Whopper the 14. Yep. He's uh, getting back onto the circuit now to just uh, resume at the back of that big battle pack. Hopefully he hasn't got any sort of damage there. Obviously also, when they go off in this game too, they get a lot of uh, debris onto the tyres and it can take a couple of uh, corners just to free that off the tyres. Yeah, right. Uh, if you seem to try and push into the next corner because you're a bit frustrated, a lot of the time you get double frustrated because you uh, spin out again. Yep. Sirius makes a move on Tommy. Ooh, no he doesn't. Tommy gets it back I'll again. What, there's no love lost for the uh, the boss of the league, is there? Everyone uh, likes to put the pressure on Tommy. <laughs> they certainly do. I think by uh, just looking up the front, Still, I think Casey's happy just to follow Marcus at the moment. Um, knows that if he gets in front of Marcus, it's going to be a hard, uh, you know, well earned position, and it's yep. very hard to overtake here at Brands Hatch. But he's then going to have that pressure of Marcus being on his tail too, because they're rough, lapping pretty similar times. So yeah, it's not like it. Casey's got the pace to move away. So may just look for a uh, maybe an easy uh, position change during the pit stops. Yeah. Be a uh, thing that we may see. Yeah, if he's smart, he'll just stick with him and try, try and work with him to get away from the pack. 
and then just wait for something towards the end to try and make a lunge. So, uh, slide science here is uh, obviously the uh, car that's got a little battle about four cars. Just off the battle, maybe a logic is watching. It's probably the, uh, the second group there, the third group of cars. It's um, Commander Sirius having a look down the inside of Smooth Tommy's made it sticking to turn one, but Smooth Tommy's back on the attack. Yeah, back Tommy's up the hill. He's smart. Yeah. Up in the hairpin, and here comes Whopper having a little Ooh, cheeky little, look as well. Yeah. Love tap. Uh, he's made that. Yeah, but uh, you may see uh, Commander Sirius. Oh, he's just backing out of that. He's thinking, you're going to start tapping me around. I've got a pretty good looking car, <laughs> and your car's pretty damaged. Uh, a little bit roughed up, so. Uh, That's it. We'll uh, continue for the long haul, I'd say, for the P51 6 wheel driver of uh, Commander Sirius. So, maybe 51. Yeah, he's picked up those spots because some of the guys in front have obviously uh, spun out a little bit. And so, uh, we'll have a little look at the Alpine. It's got a lot of headlights at the front of it. It's a beast, actually. It'd be good to see at night, glaring yeah. in all its glory. So it looks like slide signs. He's got a drive through there. A logic was just popped up on the monitor. Ah, oh, that's so a track limit for sure. That's what I'm thinking. I think you picked it up earlier about him uh, exploiting that uh, that corner down the inside, which uh, we're just watching here. A couple of the drivers taking advantage. So maybe just a little bit too much. Yeah, that's interesting. So maybe they're getting away with it in practice or something, and then he's. I don't know. Because you get about 30... No, you only get three offs. That's right. But that's if you take advantage of the time, I think, isn't it? Oh, and here we go. Um, Whopper's having a nice look down the inside. Made that stick on... Uh, oh, actually, Blue Falcon. Sorry, Blue Falcon on uh, Maddie. Yep. Got to watch that on your stream then. That was good. So uh, Blue Falcon in the in the famous number 16 to represent a Team ANZ CRL. Uh, number 16 is obviously for the year that we were found back in 2016. And I believe that uh, when we try and get into our iRacing events for ANZ CRL, we uh, try and get that number 16. Yeah, yeah we do, yep. Casey again up nice and close to the back of Marcus. I think he really, he could be getting a little bit frustrated behind him. He's been now behind him for about 11 minutes now of this race. And, uh, sometimes that uh, seems like an eternity. I think it won't be long to maybe. We may see Casey put his uh, nose down the inside. Yeah, we just made a good move on Tetris. He um, forced Tetris to go defensive and then went wide and did the undercut on him. Oh, he's gone wide uh, to turn one. Tetris skirt back. Oh. Tetris up the hill. Actually, nice livery of the uh, Merc, I think. It's the plain red. I think it's a little bit of a light red and then the dark. Darker red. Looks pretty good. Hmm. Tetris. He's trying to pick up uh, where, what team he's actually in uh, at 21. It's not on a little spreadsheet that I've had, so, uh... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't see any other saves out there, so it might be just me doing a wild card. Weary's having another good look here, just, just slicing him up. Trying to force Cetris into another mistake. Yeah, I think Weary knows he's got the pace, he's just struggling to get past him and hold that position in front of him. Sometimes just up to this part of the circuit, at the top end of the hill, if they just miss their turn in, you can sometimes find that uh, they run off wide and so sometimes an easy overtake before you hit the left hand corner here. Yeah, okay. He's jumped to the back again, unfortunately. So he must be struggling a bit with the outline. 
Yeah, I think during the qualifying, I heard in the party chat, I was there with them, and uh, yeah, obviously trying to get to grips with the Alpine and, and the game itself. So yeah, yeah a bit of a learning curve for some of these drivers. Blue Falcon again. This is his first competitive race on the game for uh, Team A and ZCRL. Currently running 14th though, and uh, within a little pack there, as you can see on the bottom right-hand corner, as they're coming onto the uh, the starting straight, he's got uh, three cars in front of him. Yeah, it's a bit of a learning curve this game, but you do learn really quick. As Weary makes a dive up inside of Tetris again. He's made the move this time, but really make it stick. Oh, the big drag race. Who's going to break? It looks like he's tucked in uh, Tetris. Yeah, he's got bear of it. Still only, what? Probably a wise. Not even 15 minutes in yet, yeah. Probably a wise decision. And you can see on the little display up on the left of the timing that we've got here is uh, the little yellow with the one means that they still need to take their mandatory pit stop. Uh, once they do that, that goes green. I see where he's decided to dress in yellow. Highlight his livery. Who was that, sorry? Ah, uh, Weary. He's got a, a yellow race suit on. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> it's the little details. All the little details you can do, yes. So Weary should hopefully reel in tie now, Moto Halley. Sirius after the problem. Yep. Yeah, go on. I was going to say, Sirius made a move on Whopper before, but Whopper's caught back up again, so it's a good battle between these two. Yeah, he's got to run Whopper, actually. I'll be enjoying this. Can... Definitely. And Whopper was uh, a fairly consistent uh, GT4 runner last year for Shakedown. I think he ran sort of mid-pack most of the time, or up the top half, I should say. Yeah, back, certainly more Finishing top half. Top tens, quite... Yeah, he's getting quite a few uh, top sixes, that's for sure. Yeah, I can't remember if it was GT3 the, uh, or GT4, but he was often battling for the lead with Tommy. Yeah, just picking up Matty Seek, and I think he's gone off there at uh, turn one. It uh, got back on the track. It doesn't, I think he just ran wide, but he's got going again. Bent in the Audi, famous number 17 as well. For all you Ford fans out there. Actually another good livery um, for Benji. And they're in the um, team shake-up. So I wonder if that's actually a, um, a satellite team for uh, Shakedown. Yeah, right. I'm not too sure, but our team shake up uh, consisting of uh, Benji here in the number 17, and then we've also got Moto Halley that's up into P3. And, yeah, he's uh, just um, trying to hold off Weary Not. He's bouncing all over the curbs there. Yeah, he's had a big off then. Um, I would be surprised if he pull along. He has to find himself with the drive through as well, which would be a shame for him. He's doing really well up there. Slide signs starting to make his way back up through the field after serving this drive through. Mm. Yep. He's currently uh, in 11th, but not too far away from Happy Harry that's in 10th. And uh, who else is in team shake up? We've got the, uh, the number 9 of Marcus who's leading the race. So uh, they're going to be a very strong team, I think, team shake up. Uh, if Benji can get his things going in that uh, Audi. Yep. Probably uh, just a uh, learning curve for him at the moment. I'm not too sure if he was in the uh, series last year. Uh, I think he was. I'm pretty sure he came in. He did some races. Yeah. Something we'll do, we'll be aiming for, obviously, for round two to probably be a little bit more prepared. It's been uh, a quick turnaround to uh, get all this up and running. 
and um, sort of caught us with our pants down, you can say. <laughs> and, um, looking forward to obviously doing a little bit of research for the next fortnight and uh, getting to know some of these drivers and uh, seeing who did what last year and also what uh, we can look forward to for uh, 2022. Yep. with these new teams. Uh, most of the teams are actually filled up with three drivers, so it's going to be a very interesting team's championship. Oh, as uh, Benji's off out of turn one, and this is going to give uh, Blue Falcon, I'd say, maybe a position up into turn two. No, he hasn't had the legs, so that's at least given him an opportunity now to attack Benji. So Casey just tried to make a move on Marcus and um, didn't quite make a stick but then he did cut that same quarter we saw before the slide was cutting so again we're going to have to watch that. Oh Commander Sirius is actually in pit lane, he's just exiting now. Oh no, yeah I didn't see so that So that, uh, that was his mandatory stop for tyres so he's done that but he looks like he's pretty safe at the moment. The, the, uh, weather prediction for the for the next 30 minutes is still overcast sky, so the rain may just hold off for this race, and um, that could be a blessing for Commander Sirius as well, because he should be now able to get to the end. Um, just trying to pick up where he is on the map here compared to the leaders. Uh, he's oh, he's actually a couple of corners in front, so he's just coming into turn four as the leaders coming up, probably into turn three now. So he's got a bit of a clear track, Commander Cirrus. Not too far actually away from his teammate Matty Seeky. Oh no, so Ty and Weary have come together. We've just uh, also just before us, uh, Casey's actually taken a lead from Marcus while being concentrated. I don't know if it's on the screens if we saw the overtake, but uh, had my attention elsewhere. Finds himself up to P1. Now let's see what he can do with this uh, pressure behind him with Marcus. And Moto Halley's moving too. He's slowly catching this pack. Putting in some very solid times, I would imagine. Yeah, well he just had to come together with Weary on turn one. Uh, Weary come off second best. And then Phil's just put a lot of pressure on Weary, but then ran himself off the track, so... No, the tide, they were catching pretty quick together. Jeez, Motor Halley, actually his car looks so good at this time of the race as well. We're into 21 minutes into the race and it actually looking like it's just starting to uh, really get strong at this point of the track race. So maybe that he's been able to get those tyres and look after them. Because he hasn't really been in a, in a complete battle like uh, Casey and Marcus really, following one another. No, that's that right. can wear your tyres out when you're following as well, because the car's sliding around, losing a little bit of aero through the corners as well. That's it. Uh, so at the same time, wearing those tyres out and increasing the tyre temps. Tyres, actually, the wear should be a problem. I think the tyre temps are probably going to be more the issue. Yep. You know, where he's going to pit lane, so he's fully taken advantage of that to um, make his stop. Yeah. So they've got, they got 38 Carl's. minutes to go. Car looks a little bit uh, beaten up around a little bit, so I don't know if he's had a few little nudges here and there. Yeah, he's obviously been in the thick of things. Yeah. yeah. Where's Sirius? So Sirius isn't as close as what I thought he might be, so maybe he did have an off before he came in and just decided to pit on it. Moto put, that's us settled his car, put the car on the brakes, on the grass too, so uh, he just really had, had to wrestle that car to keep it on the track. A bit ragged at the moment, after just talking his, his uh, driving <laughs> that car up. Oh, I know what we were in series we're doing. They won all three 53 e 51 boys at the back. There you go. So um, <laughs> it's a little bit of a moment there where they have three of them all there together. And I could, I reckon you're going to still see uh, Weary Knight up in, in hopefully a podium by the end of this. He's uh, got the pace. And uh, these guys, I think, up front are slowing each other down a little bit. 
uh, with this battling that they're doing. Yep. So this could be a blessing in disguise for Weary pitting early and uh, out in the clear air and uh, can get some time back from the guys. So when they come out of the pit lane, you may just benefit from a little bit of a, um, would it be an overcut? Do you pit it early or undercut? Undercut, yep. We're just watching the uh, 667, six, uh, 667, I probably the best thing for me to say, Happy Harry second of the Corvettes, uh, I mean of the Camaros I should say. The shakedown. In P9. And, uh, sort of in the middle of nowhere at the moment. Five seconds uh, up the road from Hag, his teammate, and uh, roughly the same distance behind uh, Slide Science up in yeah, P8. Yeah. As the 510 of uh, Matt is uh, Coming into pit lane now, but he's got it all wrong coming in. So uh, he's coming in to serve his man to stop. As he said earlier, a lot of a learning curve for a lot of these drivers. Absolutely, um, yeah. And I'd say a relearning for a few of the regulars as well, because uh, some of them may have been taking advantage of the big break between seasons. Yep. And um, playing other things or doing other things, even having some time out of the sim rig. Yeah, that's it. In our case, a lot of iRacing over the off time, just want to get our licenses up. That's right, yes. So coming back to this does feel quite weird. Yeah, we're just looking at that battle up front, and geez, uh, King Tetris is so close as well to uh, Moto Halley. Yeah, he's really so, caught up, uh, hasn't he? I tell you what, King Tetris has probably had a very entertaining race. He's been close to someone the majority of this race. Stakes was cost him, and that's why he's still in P4. But uh, if he can latch on the back and stay here with Mato Halley, I think we're going to have a four-way battle uh, before these guys. All these four cars will definitely be in the pits together, I, I would imagine. Yeah, no, I reckon, yeah. There's not much in it at the moment, is there? They're, they're a little bit spread out, but still really only, what, three seconds from first to fourth. Yeah, I really think it's a quality start to the season, really, you know, um, most uh, you know, most of the people are still on the lead lap, and um, there's going to be a few people figuring it later into this race as well, before it's over. That's it. Just jumping on board with Marcus for a bit of a gander how, how close he is. He's very taily on the exit, so he must be really pushed to keep up with Casey. Yeah, for people watching my uh, stream here, Woody Lizard as well, I unfortunately don't have a uh, map button to change the camera view, so we're stuck on the TV broadcast camera. So we don't have the luxury as the logical has as uh, jumping on board to the cars. Oh, don't worry, I think I killed my two first cameras because now they don't pivot or follow the car. Okay. So I think the cameraman cracked the shoots and walked away, left the camera static. Uh, I probably thought, oh, well, I've got better things to do if you don't want me. That's it. So, like our house slide science has uh, knuckled down with uh, a few little things going wrong early on, obviously getting that drive through. Uh, got a big gap between before him and Whopper, about 12 or 17 seconds, I think I saw earlier. Uh, but again, another driver that's going to aim for a uh, probably a top, you know, top six. Will, he'll be really happy with that. And uh, he's a driver that actually can put pressure on uh, someone like Whopper, who's got that, uh, well there it goes, 19 second lead at the moment. Whopper has over Slide Science. Yep. But uh, Slide's just one of those drivers. As Marcus is in the pits. He's the first one to go in. And so and uh, no one else followed him in. Uh, Whopper has actually gone in. Yep, Whopper's in. So he's making sure that he's taking the same uh, st uh, strategies as Marcus, I'd say. So Tetris has got tight. Motor Halley. I think I think well, Halley he's, he's went off. Motor. Yeah, okay. So Smooth Tommy pitted earlier as well. So now we're gonna see where Weary comes out. Or where these guys come out compared to Weary in that. Yeah, so I'm just on uh, Weary night at the moment. And 
and uh, we're still waiting for um, Marcus to actually start moving. He's still stationary. He's just starting to move now, so when he comes up, uh, weary out of the final corner. So he's going to have a run too coming on here, so he's not going to be too far away. I think Marcus got the advantage, Whopper certainly did. No, but it could also pay off if the other two, the Casey and Tetris and Halley, all stay out, even Phil, if they stay yep. out for too long. Uh, with these guys with fresh tyres now, and that's why I think uh, Weary made up some good time. Um, being able to do some good laps, but he's getting caught behind Benji at the moment. He, he is, happy yep. with that. Yeah, he's had to choke up a little bit, a couple of times now. But at the end of the day, Benji's got every right to do this because it's still a battle for Tant. It's actually a position of change. Absolutely, yep, absolutely. He's flashing his lights as we're in on. <laughs> uh, you don't want to want to cool underneath that helmet though because this is where mistakes can happen. Oh, oh and he has. Yeah. He's put Benji. Uh, yeah. Should be redressing that. I think Benji went to slide out for Weary to go past, but Weary sat on his corner and... Oh yeah, I'm not too yeah. sure. Yeah, it was a little lack of uh, misjudgment from both and uh, we saw the flashing of the lights beforehand and that normally can sometimes spell a bit of trouble, but hopefully we'll leave that to the adjudicators at, uh, later in the race if Benji deems um, that might have been unfair. So Hags and Halley in the pit now. Benji's still struggling to get going again, so I think he might have... Oh well, yeah, as I said, sometimes once you go off and you get that uh, all that stuff and the debris on your tyres, yep. it, uh, it can really upset things, as uh, I think Blue Falcons come into the pits as well. Yeah, so these guys have um, halved up the race. So that's his, probably his, one of his first pit stops, that's all will be new to him. Benny's in the pits now, so that, that's good for him. So now it's to see when the top five pit. We got the halfway mark, keep pushing. Uh, thank you, Pit Radio, telling me to keep pushing. And I'm sitting here in the commentary booth, so I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so Weary is effectively. I shouldn't say effectively second, but he's, he's second out of the guys who have pitted. He made that place on Howling. Yeah, 19 laps in the in the first uh, half hour, though they were uh, doing a pretty good pace. Yep. We can't see lap times, can we? Nah, I think if you go to drive, you can see your uh, the driver's best or previous. I think that's about box. Oh, timetables won't come up yet, so it'll just be the qualifying. Okay. I think. Uh, I can see oh, Cirrus is the last of the 134. Cirrus is uh, very close now to Smooth Tommy. <coughs> and they've all both pitted both these drivers as well. So I uh, commend Cirrus would be happy he's right behind the uh, Camaro of the boss. Of the boss, that's it. And um, so happy Harry's actually in the pit, so he's waiting to come out at the moment. So those guys have just made up a position. So Commander Sirius in the tent now. They qualified ninth, so one more place and then back to where he started. Yeah, there's a possibility we wait to see um, where slide science filters out as well that they might gain another position on slide. And oh, Benji's got a drive through, so that could have been maybe a um, come into the pit lane, maybe without the pit limiter on. Uh, yeah, I did um, see he was doing some weird thing. He's like sort of start stopping in pit lane, so. Yeah. Oh, Tommy is feeling the heat from Commander Cirrus here uh, in P9. And uh, Commander Cirrus is uh, letting Tommy know that uh, it's time for a P51 Super <laughs> car to come on through. That's it. Tell you what, it doesn't look too bad. The, uh, the Camaro, all black with a little bit of the uh, purple running up. Yeah, they style it really well, don't they? Yeah. Oh, oh no! C big moment from Cirrus, and the cameraman can't. Uh, hopefully, he's off. Didn't get on the wall there, but he went off a pretty awkward way. 
No, he kept it off the wall. Cars, okay. Maybe he thought it was going to oh. go, then went to save it. Just whipped it back the other way. Massive moment for um, slide. I mean, not slide, not slide. Man, a serious. Sorry, I was, I was about to click on slide. <laughs> yeah. my, my brain's telling my mouth other things. Casey's still out. Now Weir is on the back of Marcus, so this is actually could be the actual um, effective battle for the lead. Um, as you said, Casey's in the pit, so we'll just see where uh, these yep. guys filled up. Um, because this will be a good gauge, because obviously Casey's come into the pits from the lead. And uh, these guys here at the moment are uh, coming up to the, uh, oh, and in the back straight area. I wish I had a map of Silly Me, I didn't get a map of Brands Hatch. Oh yeah, yep. And uh, it also slides into the pit lane as well. So we'll just stay on this battle here, obviously four uh, between Marcus and Weary Knight. Can't get much closer at this stage of the race. Oh, it looks uh, like Weary settled in nicely actually. As uh, Marcus is just moving now, so it's going to be close. I think Marcus should come out in front. But these guys will have um, a little bit of uh, momentum going their way. As Marcus clearly come out in front. Oh, as, um, look at this battle here. Um, weary night. This is why he was champion last year. Look at the pressure he's put in on Marcus. Oh, has he got the run? Looks like he may have it. Oh, that's oh, Marcus close. Marcus is trying to close the door and... Uh, he knew that he couldn't because uh, we had Weary's uh, front nose still in his rear quarter and that was nice driving by both of these guys and the reason why these guys are pretty high up in the championship at the end of the uh, season is because driving like this they don't throw away uh, vital points. That said, look who's behind Marcus now, Moto Alley's caught up as well. Yeah, oh, beautiful driving, so he's come out of the pits with fresh tyres as well. So his teammates... His teammates with Marcus. So we'll, um, Marcus actually led him through to see if he can challenge and wear down Weary Knight. This is great driving here for P4, 5 and 6. Look at Casey up front, he's still seven, 7 seconds ahead, 8 seconds ahead. Yeah. These guys, I could imagine, may be a little bit slower at the moment, battling so hard, but uh, it looks good to see Weary Knight just having a little bit of a, about two or three car lengths in front of the, uh, the uh, shake-up uh, team, the Audis. I tell you what, if this is the first round, I can't wait for uh, the season ahead, the logical. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's interesting hearing the tyre squealing and that when you're on board. Hearing how much grip the cars might or may not, might not have. So here's a little battle too down in uh, the T P10. Uh, Commander Sirius did get slide science uh, out from the pit stop. So slide science in P10. So Commander Smooth Tommy and Commander Sirius both made up a position there. And uh, slide science is only a second behind Sirius. Oh, uh, my blue cars. Very big moment then. Big moment, which, uh, yeah, he's been able to hold on to it by the looks of things though. Still on the black stuff. We'll just keep an eye on uh, slide signs in this BMW, the number 69 Team Apex Eaters. As he uh, battles with Commander Cirrus up front. The BMW looks so big over the uh, Aston Martin. Look how quick he is up there. Yeah. So he did get a nice exit as well. Yeah. Oh, he's got it down the inside too, and he looks like he's going to try for a uh, lead of, or not a change of, of position, which he has. Yeah. Hey, Commander Sirius fighting hard though. He's back up the inside, Commander Sirius. This is a great battle for position nine. And well done by Commander Sirius. And here comes slide signs back around the outside, but I think his car's going to be on the wrong side of the track. But oh, so I think. Uh, 
the man is there is broken a little bit early, but he's still there, but going to be on the outside before the final corner. So the P51 Sim Sport Aston Martin may have to concede position nine to Slide Science. Oh, don't get up there on that curb too hard, Cirrus. Resettle yourself and uh, get that battle back with uh, with Slide. That's there. That was a great little one, two, one, two. Oh, they were racing hard, those guys. So we've got um, King Tetris now about to uh, come onto the back of those those two. Uh, yet to pit though, King Tetris as Apex fills. They're the only cars yet to take their mandatory stop. Ah, uh, yep. And it looks like the weather's going to stay kind to us all here in uh, Brands Hatch and uh, no wet weather. Slider series dealing with a bit of traffic. I think that's Benji at the moment. So Benji's two laps down with Blue Falcon, and Maddie's seeking. I think he's three laps down. Yeah, Maddie's had a little bit of a hard time in that uh, Alpine, but I'm sure knowing Maddie, he'll uh, spend a little bit of time and try and tune it up for the next round. That's it. And matter how he got Marcus. No, Mark's got Motor Halley back again. So they did switch and they oh, switched right. back. Looks like these two teammates are battling actually. It was just letting Weary not get away. I'm just trying to uh, have a look at the uh, the calendar as well. And it looks like Casey's pulling away from Weary still. He's into the 8 seconds now. Yeah, they're sort of hovering there, aren't they? King Tetris is in the pits. So round two is actually at Silverstone, uh, the 1st of March, so the, uh, when we go into March. So make sure you mark that on your calendars, everyone. As soon as you turn your calendar around, make sure you tune in from 7pm uh, for the race. For this GT4 from round two at Silverstone. With 20 minutes remaining, and we got King Tetris in the pits. Yeah, he's still and, there. Uh, we got obviously um, Weary Knight and uh, Casey. Casey should take the lead. He's coming around now onto the starting straight. So clearly got him as uh, we've got uh, King Tetris just leaving the pit lane now. So I think he should come out in front of Weary. Only just, here comes Weary, coming in hard. Really try and set him up up to the uh, up to turn uh, what two. He's got the run if he wants to dive it down the inside, but no, King Tetris isn't having any of it. Ah, nice King Tetris has done Tetris. well. Yeah. yeah, he had to do that because uh, Weary, I think if he was able to get in front of him then, Weary probably would have cleared out of quite a few car lengths. Yep. As he drifts wide though, Weary. Slide the series uh, is still going at it. Tetris can now control the pace there. So Weary Knight is effectively probably in third as we're still waiting for Apex Filth to uh, pit now from P1. Yep. But I believe he's probably aiming for maybe to come out maybe in front of Whopper in P7 once he pits. Yeah, I think just on the back of Marcus there somewhere. Yeah. Whopper's doing not a bad job there in, in, uh, in P7 at the moment. First car of the team, ANZ CRL. Looks a little bit second hand there, uh, McLaren. Bouncing over the curves there, lucky to hold on to it. Battle I can see going for the next 17 minutes uh, between Slide Science and uh, Cirrus. <laughs> yeah, definitely back and forth. We need more cameramen as uh, where he's now just, uh, I think he's settled down now and uh, he's in that groove. Oh, he comes in nice, but Aston Martin's really good with brakes up into turn two. But uh, King Tetris was able to cover. He pulled so, that up uh, hard, didn't he? 
he did. So uh, I'd say Weary may be looking up to turn two for an overtake if he can. So he's obviously at this time here just about to, uh, if there's an opportunity, he'll take it. But I think at this time now, just try and keep the car settled. Don't overdrive it, keep the tyres at their optimum. So when he comes out of turn one, he's got a good run. No, if he can get down the inside a little bit, he's breaking. He's very good up there in the turn two. So yeah, these two need to work battle. together too, don't they, to catch up to Casey? Yeah, they do. But it's a big ask with uh, Casey now. Only ten seconds in front of this battle, um, and I think we we're saying it's only eight seconds, only about two or three laps ago. So yeah, yeah, he's pulling um, away. I think, yeah, I think they're they're better off to really concentrate on uh, these two trying to keep a uh, podium. They don't want to bin each other. Um, they're definitely uh, fighting for either P2 or P3. But we've also don't take out uh, Moto Halley. We know that he comes on strong later on in the stint. Yeah, he does. Yep. Actually, looks like Marcus dropped off the back of Halley as well. It's a shame. This uh, maybe Whopper can uh, start trying to uh, get that three second gap that he's got between him and Marcus and get up into the P6. Yep. And maybe that will be P5 by the time Apex uh, filth hits. Depending where he pops out, that's the big question. He's keeping us all in suspense, yeah. Apex. <laughs> Isn't he? Uh, filth, we should call him. I think everyone calls him Filth, not Apex, but you know, Filth. But look, I'm very happy to see uh, Matty Seekin still circulating, doing a good job, and uh, you know, first sort of time out on it, and uh, he's not he's spending more time on the black stuff than on the green stuff, which sometimes some people, when they're learning, uh, push well above their ability. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. Find him having it. He's just getting out of the way there of the uh, of the battle between both Cirrus and uh, Slide. Same as Benji. Benji, uh, as I said, he got uh, unsettled a little bit by um, Commander Cirrus when Cirrus was uh, on the... Was it Cirrus? No, Weary. Weary, sorry, Weary Knight. One of the P51 Simsport drivers, but... Uh, Stuck yeah, on the dive bombers. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's one of those things too, as you said, that he was breaking up into this corner and it looked like he had it covered and then, it, yeah, he may have just sort of... Uh, pulled over a little bit and, and Weary didn't have the ability, like he was sort of thinking he was going to just follow him, but yeah. as he said, he, he may have put the brake on a little bit too hard, and that's always going to be a recipe for um, an accident as well, so I think if you are, uh, anyone sort of interested in a little bit of uh, race craft as well, and, and learning the game a little bit more, that Arius drives on YouTube, he's one of the developers I believe in the, in the game. Mm. And uh, he can talk for ages, eh? you know, the, some of his streams go for a long, long time. But he had a, um, a little se sequence of uh, videos about becoming a better driver. And he explains the, um, you know, the importance of knowing how to brake properly and when you are going to do something like that, let someone through. Um, to please don't brake harder, like on the race line, just take your normal line and, um, and more let off you know, out of the corner, like later on in the corner and down a straight sort of thing to let the cars through because um, people following you aren't expected for you to actually be on the normal braking area and braking that little bit harder, you know, so yeah, um, just keep your flow going because, uh, yeah, it can catch people out. Um, so, yeah, that's one, one of the important things. And he also teaches you about the uh, how close you may be um, when you're going so fast, a one second gap when you're going through 200 odd kilometres an hour um, is a lot closer than one second when you're only going 60 kilometres an hour. So when you follow one someone coming, you know, and you've just gone down the back straight and you're doing 200 and something kilometres and you're only a second behind and you're breaking into a corner that's only going to be an 80 kilometre um, entry point, that one second closes up very quickly. So you, if as a following car, really needs to brake that little bit earlier than the car in front. If you break your normal spot, logic basically says that uh, one second gap is going to close very quickly and that's usually when you end up locking up your brakes and uh, tapping the guy in front. That's it. Absolutely, yep. And he keeps his uh, little things a little bit entertaining while you watch, but um, yeah, so very worthwhile to search Arius Drives on YouTube. 
back to the action, uh, Logical. What's going on, mate? We still got Phil still not pitting yet. Yeah, I don't know how long he can go for. Um, maybe they can do the whole session in one tank. Maybe they just... He's just going to wait right until the end, see if he can take advantage of clean air or whatever he's got going on out there. Yeah, well, I don't think, the, I don't think they need to fill up. I think they can do the whole race, but I think it's more the... Um, yeah, well, obviously the tyres they got it. It's a mandatory stop for tyres, so... Yeah. You'd think that he's probably used the best of his tyres, but he's getting a good uh, good time there out, out in front. We probably haven't showed enough uh, footage of him. That's why I'm watching him right now. His last lap was 135.1. Yeah. Probably just uh, slowing down a little bit compared to uh, Casey and the boys. But yeah, he's uh, having a good time there out in front. Enjoying his time there in the BMW for uh, Apex Eaters. And he's got his teammate, uh, Casey, just behind him in uh, P2, uh, waiting to take the lead of the race once Filth decides to pit. I believe he needs to pit with before the five minute mark remaining when uh, pit lane will close. So he's only got uh, around about six minutes remaining before he's gonna have to pit. As Moto Halley, that's a big talking point. He's uh, got a drive through penalty. So uh, that's going to bring Marcus and Wop Whopper up. Uh, Smooth Tommy may be not, I think Smooth Tommy may be a little bit further behind. He may not be able to benefit from that, but uh, a logical looks like he's just coming back in. But we've just noticed Moto Halley's got a drive through, so it's a big point here for uh, uh, a yeah. big disappointment for, uh, for the shake up team because he's now going to drop probably behind Whopper after the drive through. Yeah, he pushes hard Mo Howley. He's um, always looking for those track extents. Yeah, so um, that's going to benefit uh, his teammate uh, in the number nine, Marcus, uh, be to be the leading uh, shake up car. Yep. We've got Benji all the way down in uh, 14th in the third car. Some very so, good points up. Blue, Blue Falcon doing a good job in 13th and uh, all just running wide out of turn one. But uh, yeah, doing a good job. Slide's actually caught up to Tommy. Um, it's all over at the moment. Yeah, I've just uh, picked up that as Moto Halley's uh, in serving his pit lane panel, but he's going to come out clear of these two as uh, he's almost about to hit the exit now. So these guys are just. Oh, oh look how slide. close we have Slide. That'll give Sirius two positions. Box. And, uh, well, I'm just trying to think up Smooth Tommy. He's had a, uh, he didn't want to loop it around, but he did. So, uh, that's also cost Slide Science a uh, couple of positions and Commander Sirius into P8. You'd be good after that one. At least Slide oh, redressed, which is good. Yeah, that's what you need to do. And, um, so Commander Sirius with a P8. You'd imagine that's where he may stay unless these guys can come back hard, but there's a nine second gap by the looks of the yeah, they're a long way away. Yeah, but um, yeah. that's a lot to make up in what probably only another four laps remaining, roughly. Just maybe a bit more, maybe five laps. Yeah, four and then one three, yep. Yeah. And Filth has finally decided to come into the <laughs> game. As uh, we just pick up the, the effective leader now, Casey just coming on down past the start finish strip and he's he back into the lead on lap 32. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, it feels going to come out behind Whopper for sure. But probably in front of Motor Halley now that Halley had to do a pit stop, I do a drive through. Yeah, so uh, Whopper, as you said, has cleared um, filth and uh, Moto Halley. He may just pick him up because he's coming onto the main straight and Phil's still not moving. He's just started he's moving just now. starting to move yep. now. He was one of the last of the pit base, so it was a quick exit, so yes, but he's going to uh, have to get moving. Moto Halley will have the miss behind that helmet over underneath that visor after having that serve and that drive through as well. Yeah. All right, so we've got Casey out in front. Tetris is actually closing in on Casey. He's 6.8 seconds behind now. Followed by yeah, Weary Knight in third. Yep. Yeah, first of the P51 Sim Sports, and I'll tell you what, it's a nice looking car as well. <laughs> but I'm um, just thinking, is Casey just managing that gap now? 
But um, that also leads to some act. Oh, here we go. We've yeah. got um, Marcus. Whopper just got Marcus on the Whopper. outside. So I think Marcus On the that outside. Move. A big move by Whopper into P4, which we just saw. So uh, that was a pretty ballsy move. So uh, relegates Marcus into uh, fifth position. Just shows you, you know, you just when things aren't going too right for you. Commander Sirius had a few little moments as well, and he's up in the P8, which is very respectable in this league of shakedown. Yep. Um, you got some fast drivers in front of him, and Absolutely, uh, yep. if he didn't make those mistakes, he could have um, probably benefited as well. Maybe up to P uh, P6 is probably not out of the cards, I, I reckon, for Sirius. So. I agree. So uh, hopefully, when we come to uh, Silverstone, we'll see some of those mistakes. Um, out of the way and see where he may finish. Whopper's coming up There's on his team, mate. Just having Take another little look of slide, just throwing the nose around and where the corner where he collected uh, Smooth Tommy the previous lap, but uh, <laughs> keeping it clean this time. But oh, he looks like I don't know if he's. You know, if he gave me a little tap then, but uh, might have just made my cart, my screen just uh, juddering at one stage. Yeah, I think he had plenty of room there. Just, I noticed his car did do a twitch or something then. Oh, he's having, he's having a, a little look. look down here. Oh, oh way too, too hard in. So again, um, slide signs. His, uh, his eyes were bigger than his belly. <laughs> and, uh, took it off there in the turn two. But lucky Tommy saw it coming too and just stayed straight and let him go in there. Exactly, and that's all the awareness that you need to also keep getting a good result too in any online lobby, being aware of uh, the drivers around you. I think uh, Tommy would maybe a little bit disappointed, obviously, that uh, Sly did uh, serve him up a little bit there in the uh, final corner because he would have been in uh, eighth position. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if he's had any other incidents throughout the race, but uh, it's pretty much where he, I think he qualified, in, uh, qualified in the top ten. So we've got less than five minutes to go now. Yeah, so Smooth Tommy actually qualified in tenth. I'm not sure what happened to my TV camera because I don't follow the cars anymore. Yeah, right. So maybe it's best not to worry about mapping a button just in case it happens because I think the camera, camera, um, the track cameras have been pretty good throughout the race. I think so. Yeah. Uh, ho hopefully everyone be really watching this race or watching it live. Hello everyone, and um, hopefully you've had a bit of enjoyment with the. Uh, the action. It's been quite a bit there through the hour. We've got four minutes remaining and uh, there's still this battle for uh, ninth and tenth. And uh, where he's just trying to obviously hold on to uh, P3 and make sure that he doesn't make any silly mistakes late in the race because Whopper is up into P4 and uh, he's obviously uh, just trying to hold off uh, Marcus. This is a nice little run by uh, Slide. He's up level. Can he pull it up though? Oh, and Tommy's out on the dirt. You don't want to do that on the brakes. As you can see, he's now run really wide, smooth Tommy. Uh, you want to do and, that to uh, the boss. Command. Well, it was a fair move. I, I tell you, what I saw Slide Science was uh, nice and committed down the inside and uh, gave him room, but uh, obviously smooth Tommy just uh, maybe just feeling the effects of a uh, Big week organising, he does a big job of trying to organise obviously this in the GT3 Championship and um, I think he's just happy that everything's moving along quite smoothly and um, hence his name Smooth Tommy. And, uh, <laughs> but you know P10, you know he qualified 10th so he's sort of there where he was in qualifying but as I said I think he may have been up as high as 8th uh, if he didn't have that little 
moment with si uh, Slide, but I think Slide may have even got him in the end, so who knows which he has now. But we'll have a look at Whopper oh, doing a big cut as he's uh, yeah. eight, uh, as Marcus. So this is uh, the last little battle that we have. Uh, there's a little battle also between Happy Harry and Hag. I've oh, just got a little with the... Uh, actually, they're all running th uh, in a row, the, uh, the team uh, shakedown. Oh, yeah, that's it, yeah. 10, 11, and 12. So all the uh, Camaros. And maybe they're just... Maybe Smooth Tommy will give up. Oh, no, he won't give up when he's uh, only half a second behind slide for ninth. Might try and slow down for a big formation finish, but uh, <laughs> once you're a racer, you're always a racer. And I'll tell you what, uh, Tommy, he's looking at the clock, a minute 40 remaining. He's got uh, two more laps to try and uh, see if he can get the better of slide. So they must be struggling with tyre pressures, hey, or tyre temps, because they're a lot of them starting to run off now. On I record. think you're right. Yeah, they were predicting wet weather, mate. You know, I think it's logical. So that was that was the biggest thing that's been a problem. Yeah. And um, maybe they didn't do too much practicing uh, with the uh, dry tyre because even practice, 30-minute practice session before the race was wet. Yeah. Okay. Um, qualifying was dry, so they got on tonight for the practice session. Obviously, uh, tuning the car up for the race, uh, knowing that it was predicted to be rain, and then uh, come the actual race day with. Uh, well, I say the gods have been kind to us. No, no one likes to race in the wet. It can be an equaliser, but I think they get more enjoyment racing in the dry. Absolutely. But, yep. um, I think it's a bit illogical. It's um, caught some people out. There's uh, Case. He's on his last lap. He's not going to be able to do another one, so he's going to finish uh, with 37 laps of the race. So this is the last lap? Just checking. Yeah, this is the last lap. Okay. So he's Marcus well, is, yeah, and uh, Mark is only within a second of Whopper, so as long as Whopper can hold it, I think he should be all right. But uh, this is a great opening for the team Apex Eaters, uh, taking victory at round one with Casey. Now he's got a healthy lead of four and a half seconds over King Tetris. As we said, we're not too sure if King, if Tetris, if this is a wild card entry or if it was a late entry. As uh, Matty's stuck out there, out of the, out on the circuit, um, coming up the hill. Don't know. If, oh no, he's moving now. I was hoping he wasn't out of fuel, but he's moving again. Oh, I think he's just been pulling off track to get out of the way. Okay. Well, he doesn't want to get in the way of these two coming up. Uh, Slide Science and uh, Smooth Tommy because they've been going at it for the last later half of this race. As we just, I've got my eye on Casey at the moment as he's on his final corner to take round one of the 2022 opening championship of the GT4 championship. I'm all over the shop, sorry guys. <laughs> but, um, here he goes for round one. Well done to Casey race. and Go team Casey. Apex leaders. And uh, same as King Tetris, so hopefully we uh, actually have seen an entry for uh, Tetris. And yeah, we're and nice across the line in third, yep. Yeah, P51 Sim Sports, they'll be happy. And Whoppy has been able to hold off Marcus, so he'd be happy with that. But Marcus has given him a hard time the last 10 minutes, so uh, well done to those guys. And Filth, after staying out for a long time, we are finishing P6. I think that uh, that's a position he'll be happy with. Yeah, yeah, he thinks it's a great spot. Motor Halley won't be happy with his seventh, that's for sure, getting that drive through. But as you said, he was pushing the boundaries for the uh, track limits, and uh, that's always bound to happen. And uh, Commander Cirrus in P8, what a good out in there for uh, P3 and P8 for the P51 Sim Sports. They'll be excited about opening their campaign with those positions. Yeah, they'll be happy, yeah. As uh, Slide Science comes on through. So they've actually got three of the Team Apex Eaters cars in the top 10. So that's a great result. And uh, Smooth Tommy rounding out the 10 uh, with Happy Harry. Look, we've got plenty of cars still on the lead lap. But this is how competitive it's been. We're still going through the field. We're up to uh, yeah. P11 of Happy Harry. And uh, a second behind him is his Hag. So he's the third car of the uh, Team Shakedown Camaros. Uh, finishes in, in 12th. <laughs> and they cross the line together, how cute. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> that was 
awesome uh, race by all the guys. And we had Blue Falcon obviously in 13th. And uh, just a lap down. And with Benji uh, also a lap down. And Matty seeking three laps down. So, what did you think of that race of Logical? Oh, that was great. That was really good. Good battling in there. Um, yeah, the results are they're pretty close to what they qualified, so there weren't too many moves of the Shakers. Uh, I think Slide lost a few places. I think he was a bit further up the order there. But Casey, that's, that's okay. a really impressive drive to, to win that one. And he held on to it out front for a long time and then pitted late. And it worked for him. Yeah, definitely. He's qualified P3. I've just got here in the qualifying to win. So, uh, and Tetris actually uh, qualified fourth behind him. So, they're probably equal drive of the day, both Casey and uh, Tetris coming yep. home first and second. Um, so, yeah, tremendous result for those guys. And, and uh, Weary Knight, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, Marcus had pole, so uh, dropped it down into fifth. Yeah, he seemed to lose a lot of pace after his pit stop, so I wonder if something there with tyre pressures or something. Like you are saying before. Maybe, yeah. yeah, maybe didn't uh, have the, the right pressures set in there for the fuel strategy. Yeah. But there you go, so round one for Shakedown. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this coverage here on uh, of uh, the night one with uh, myself, Woody Lizard, and a Logical Sports. And uh, if you want to watch back a, a stream as well, make sure you look at a Logical Sports' as uh, stream on Twitch, which will be or will be up there for 14 days, like this one. So um, yeah, it. review your race, see your performances, and um, look forward to seeing you in a fortnight's time at Silverstone. So until then, have a good week, and um, get those practice slaps in ready for uh, Silverstone. Good luck, guys.